In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can subtract polynomials. Subtracting polynomials is a two-step process, where we first must distribute the negative, or take the opposite of the polynomial after the negative sign. And then when we have our resulting expression, we simply have to combine like terms. This is very similar to what we did with adding and subtracting, with subtracting specifically of negative numbers, where we would take the opposite, add the opposite, and make it into an addition problem. So for example, when we are subtracting two polynomials such as these, the first step we have to do is take this negative, this subtraction sign, this opposite sign, and distribute it through the next parentheses. First things first, though, the first polynomial is going to stay the same, 3x squared minus 7x plus 8. And then we can take this negative, this opposite through, and the opposite of, it's a positive 2x squared right now, is a negative 2x squared. The opposite of 9x is negative 9x. The opposite of negative 4 is positive 4. And then that will give us an expression we can simplify by combining like terms. Start with the 3x squared. It is like the negative 2x squared, giving us 1x squared. We don't need the 1, we always assume it's there. Then there's negative 7x, which can combine with the negative 9x, giving us negative 16x. And finally, the positive 8 and positive 4, gives us positive 12 for our final solution when subtracting the two polynomials. Again, notice as we are adding and subtracting and combining like terms, the exponents do not change. We are simply adding or subtracting the coefficients or numbers in front. Let's try another example. Again, in this problem, we are subtracting two polynomials, and so our first step is going to have to be to distribute that negative through, that opposite sign. The first polynomial, again, stays the same, 2x minus 8y plus 6, and then distributing the negative through, the opposite of negative 3y is positive 3y. The opposite of negative 7 is positive 7. And the opposite of 5x is negative 5x. Then we can finish by combining like terms. 2x is like the negative 5x. That gives us negative 3x. Negative 8y is like the 3y, giving us a total of negative 5y's. Finally, 6 and 7 gives us positive 13, and we get our final answer when we subtract these two polynomials. Again, when subtracting polynomials, it's a two-step process. First, distribute the negative, taking the opposite of the next polynomial, and finally, combine like terms to get our final solution. 